Hi, friends. <laughs> um, today's class um, is also flow and it's um, intermediate between intermediate and advanced so let you have the idea um, how strong this class will be and this class peak pose is Urdhva Dhanurasana and I need two blocks and one strap so if you have these um, put it next to you and I have my book with me to remind me what to teach next Let's begin. Right. Now find your sit, find your seat, <laughs> cross the legs, widen your sit bones, Sukhasana, hands on your thigh. Find your shin bones, Parallel to the mat, your chest over your pelvis, extend your spine from your lower belly all the way up to the crown of your head. Bring your shoulders back and down, close your eyes. And start to notice at your breathing. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine to the crown of your head. Lift the front of your chest up. Make your collarbone wide. As you breathe out, Lengthen your lower back, torso block, and draw the bottom of your ribs towards your navel. So try not to push your lower back forward. Observe the tempo of your breathing. Relax your face. Relax your mouth. Relax your abdomen. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Make your thumbs touch your chest bone. And then bow your forehead. Thanks for this time, the space for us to connect, for us to practice. After your next exhalation, Lift your head up and open your eyes and release your hands. Now, release your legs. <laughs> release your legs and then stand up. Bring one block, put it between your thigh, squeeze the block with your inner thigh. And notice we want to squeeze the block with the edge of our inner thigh, the front of our inner thigh, and also the back of our inner thigh. So you've got to squeeze the block like fully and extend your legs. Now inhale, reach your arms over your head. 
Interlace your fingers and turn your palms face to the ceiling. Now extend your knuckle to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen your trunk. Now you want to pull your trunk from your waist all the way up to reach to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Squeeze a block. Lengthen your tailbone down. And then exhale, bring your torso to your right and push your hips to your left. Now as you inhale, lengthen your trunk from your waist and push through your knuckles and squeeze a block from the front of your inner thigh and the back of your inner thigh. And lift the front of your chest up and try to lengthen your right waist, which is here. Try to lengthen this part. Don't crunch this part. Still lengthening this part. Extend your arms and keep breathing. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, come back. And then exhale, switch. Bring your torso to your left and push your hips to your right. Squeeze a block. Inhale, lengthen through your trunk. Push through your knuckles. Lengthen your left waist. Inhale, exhale, go deeper. Inhale, come back, and then exhale, release. Now, second round. Now, change your fingers. Push your palms forward. Bring your arms over your head. Inhale, in inhale, squeeze the block. Lengthen through your waist. Extend your knuckles to the ceiling. And then exhale, torso to your right, hips to your left. Squeeze a block. Inhale, lengthen. Lengthen your right waist. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, come back. Exhale, switch. Hips to your right. Torso to your left. Arms straight. Push your knuckles. Arms straight. Inhale, lengthen your left waist. Exhale, go deeper. Firm the block. F firm your thigh. Inhale, come back. And then exhale, release. Move your shoulders and remove the block on the side. And grab your strap. Make a loop. So we want to place the strap at the outside of our wrist here. And we want your arms move forward and you can push the strap, make it very tight. So it's like this, okay? It's not wide, it's not wider than this. And push the strap, make it tight. This is the, the, the size we want. Now put it behind your back. Let your feet apart, hips distance. Inner knees parallel, inner feet parallel. Now from here, spread your fingers wide and start to push the strap with the whole arms muscle. Bring the front of your shoulder back. Inhale, lift the front chest up. Keep pushing the strap with the whole arms and bend the knees. Move your thigh bone back and forward, forward, forward. Keep pressing the strap with your wrists and try to wait at the front of your feet more than your heel. Now as you inhale, lengthen through your waist, pull your torso away from your pelvis and then exhale, fold forward. Keep your strap tight. Now from here, you can keep your knees bending or you can slowly straight your legs. If you choose to, choose to straight your legs, firm your inner thigh, firm your knees, 
and try to extend your step down to the sky. Bring the front of your shoulder back. Keep your strap tight. Inhale. Exhale, bow deeper. Now from here, bend the knees, sit on your heels, and now come all the way up. Stand straight, and then exhale, release. All right, second time. Push your arms straight, and push your strap tight. Move the front of your shoulder back, extend your fingers, and inhale, lift your front chest up. Bend the knees, five on back, four fold. Find your belly flat on your front thigh. Move your arms over your head. Now inhale, lengthen through the side of your waist. Pull your whole torso away from your pelvis. On your exhalation, fold deeper. Keep pushing the strap with the whole arms. Keep moving the front of your shoulder back. You can either keep your knees bending or you can push your legs straight. Firm your inner knees if your legs are straight. Relax your head. Try to exhale, release your torso on your thigh more. Now weight on your heels, bend the knees, and now stand all the way up. Chest up, arm bones back, exhale, release. All right, put the strap on side, come to the top of your mat, set your feet apart, make your knees, point your second and your third toe, Roll your shoulder back, palms naturally face forward. Front chest lift. Now inhale, lift your arms over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Send your chest forward, press your thigh bone back, belly in. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, halfway up. Navel in, thigh bone back. Now see if you can grab the back of your ankle. Exhale, pull your ankle with your hands, forward fold. Bring your face between your calf. Push your legs straight, firm your knees, and extend your sit bone to the sky. Weight at the front of your feet more than your heels, but keep your heels on the ground. Release your hands on the ground, inhale, halfway up. Place your hand, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Spread your fingers wide. Set your feet apart. Lift your arch. Find your four corners on your feet. Stretch your arms straight. Stretch your legs straight. Relax your head between your arms. You can start to paddle your heels. Feel your lower body, feel your ankle, your calf, the back of your knees. Inhale, stand on your toes, leg straight, squeeze your knees, press your thigh bone back. Lengthen the side of your waist, the side of your chest. Exhale, roll to your high plank. Now find your shoulder over your wrist. Now pull the front of your ribs in and try to descend your pelvis a little. So try not to lift your pelvis too high, descend your pelvis a little, engage your inner thigh, and pull the front of your ribs in. Push the earth away from you, and breathe into your rib cage. Feel your rib cage expand 360 degrees. Now inhale back to downward facing dog, Stretch your arms straight, navel in. 
Inhale on your toes. Exhale, plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, plank. Last round. Inhale. Inhale, downward facing dog. Stand on your toes, look forward, bring your right foot between your hands. Stand on your fingertips, bend your front knee to 90 degrees. Keep your back leg straight and firm. Pull your navel in. Now engage your inner thigh in this shape. We try to roll our back inner thigh up towards the sky and hug the out of the right hips and towards the center. Now with that, you should feel your fingertips getting lighter. If not, keep your hands on the floor. If you can feel your hands getting lighter, can you stretch your arms over your head? Lengthen the side of your waist into your hands. Pull your navel in. Hug your hips. Bad leg straight and firm. Hands down. Stretch your right leg back. Plank. Now step your left foot between your hands. On your fingertips. Bend through your front knee. Back leg straight. Roll your back inner thigh up towards the sky and hug the out of your left hips towards the center. With that, if you feel your hands getting lighter, reach your arms over your head. If not, keep your hands on the floor. That is fine. So from here, notice don't drop your lower back down. Try to pull your lower back towards the ceiling. Make it full and firm. Navel in. And keep breathing. Now hands down. Stretch your left leg back. Bring your legs together. Find your shoulder over your wrist. Engage your inner thigh. So I like I used like I used to say said imagine there's a paper between your inner thigh squeeze that paper hard now from here pull the front of your ribs in descend your pelvis just a little now can you bend your right knee make your right knee very close to the mat but doesn't touch the mat now straight back now bend your left knee don't touch the mat straight back right knee back left knee Straight back, bend right, straight back, bend left, straight back. Now from here, place both of your knees on the floor. Keep your arms straight, navel in, chest forward, bend half. And push back. Okay, now again, navel in, chest forward, don't drop your pelvis. Bend your elbow to half and then push back. Good. Now this time we bend all the way down to our belly. Lengthen the top of your thigh. Now press the front of your legs on the mat. Lengthen your tailbone towards the back of the mat. Interlace your fingers behind you. Now roll your shoulder back, reach your hands towards the back of your mat. When you're ready, inhale, lift the chest up. You lift your legs up. Extend your butt into your feet. Engage your legs, reach your hands towards the back of your mat. Bring the front of your shoulder back. Breathe into your ribs. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Now release your hands. Hands next to your chest. Feet down. Palms press. Downward facing dog. Stretch your arms. Stretch your legs. Sit those high from ribs in. In 
inhale on your toes and look forward. Exhale, right foot forward, left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stretch up. Arms over your head. Exhale, release. It's kind of too bright. Now inhale, stretch your arms over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Chest forward, thigh bone back. Exhale, step your left leg back. Now bring your back knee on the ground and press the front of your left foot on the ground. And torso up. Now at here, try to make your uh, back shin then your left shin parallel to your mat. So you might need to look back and check and make your back foot very heavy on the ground. Now with that, press your front foot into the mat and lift your chest up, lengthen your spine. Now as you breathe in, stretch your arms over your head. Now from here, try to hug your hips towards the center. Try to lengthen your tailbone towards the ground. Lift the front of your chest up. Now try not to move your front, the front of your chest and start to circle your arms back. Try to extend your chest into your middle fingers. And then bring your hands down. And reach forward and over your head and reach your arms back. Keep your back foot heavy. Keep your front foot firm on the mat. Exhale back. Two more. Inhale. Keep your front chest lift. Back leg heavy. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale. Circle your arms. Exhale down, good. Now hands on the ground. Move your right foot slightly towards your right. Find your left hand on the ground. Inhale, circle your right arm back. See if you can catch your back foot. Pull your back foot towards your buttock. Keep your left arm active. And turn your chest from left to right. Turn your chest from left to right. Release your hands on the ground. Step back, downward facing dog. All right. This is better. Alright, right, this is better. Okay. Now downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring your left foot between your hands. Right knee on the ground. Place your back foot on the ground and torso up. And then look back, check your back shin parallel to the mat and make your back heel, um, not heel, the back foot firm on the mat. So your whole right leg like push down into the ground and put your left foot into the ground as well. Now from here, hug your hips, pull your, the front of your pelvic, pelvic up Lengthen your tailbone and then inhale, reach your arms over your head. Now pause at here. Try to lift your torso up from your waist all the way up to the crown of your head. Stretch your arms high. Now when you're ready, start to move your shoulders back from the top of your chest. Circle your arms down. Inhale, 
Stretch up, slow motion. Keep your back foot firm and heavy. And out. Exhale. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Good, now hands on the ground. Move your left foot, slide to the left. Keep your right arm active, push into the ground, and you'll circle your left arm back. See if you can catch your back foot. Now pull your foot towards your buttock and push your arm straight. Now from here, inhale, breathe into your rib cage. Exhale, start to turn your chest from right to left. Turn your chest from right to left. Bring your right foot towards your buttock. Keep your right arm push active. Exhale, release. Hands on the ground. Stretch your left leg back. Downward facing dog. Okay. Inhale on your toes. Exhale. Come to high plank. Legs together. Squeeze that paper between your inner thigh. Shoulders over your wrists. Pull your front ribs in. Descend your pelvis just a little. But don't drop your lower back. All right? Now from here, bend your right knee. Don't touch the floor. Now straight, stretch back. Now left knee bend, back, right knee bend, back, left knee bend, back, right, back, left, back, right, back, left, back. Now bend both knees, hover, arms press, navel in, and then knees on the ground. All right, don't drop your pelvis, keep your arms strong. Now stand your chest forward, bend your elbow just half, and then push back. All right, one more time. Chest forward, engage your legs, and then bend elbow half, and then press back. Now third time, just lay all the way down. Now lengthen the top of your thigh, Interlace your fingers behind you. Now change your fingers, okay? Roll the front of your shoulder back, arms straight. When you're ready, legs up. Firm your buttock, extend your glute all the way into your feet. Inhale, lift the front chest up. Exhale, reach your arms towards the back of your mat. Expand your ribs. Hug your legs, firm your knees, breathe into your ribs. Don't hold your breath, stay here. Stretch your arms straight. Now release your hands, hands next to your chest, palms push, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, belly in, exhale, right foot forward, left foot forward, feet apart, exhale, forward fold, hold your ankle, inhale, stretch all the way up, arms over your head, exhale, release, inhale, stretch up, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step your left leg back, your front knee 90 degrees, back leg straight, belly in. Now if you feel your belly collapse on your front thigh, you can grab the blocks with you. Stand on the blocks with your fingertips, push your arms straight, belly in. Now hands on your hips, inhale, torso up. Now from here, start to stand your hips higher, 
almost make your front leg straight, but keep your front knee bending. Now reach your arms over your head. Keep your arms straight, spread your fingers wide, firm your arms, and have lengthen through the front hip flexor. Your left hip flexor. Lift the front chest up, from your left glute, from your left knee. On your exhalation, keep the curve of your chest, but bend your front knee. Inhale, lengthen through your left hip flexor. Pull your lower belly up all the way into your hands. Exhale, maybe bend deeper. Now hug your hips, roll your back inner thigh up. Kick your butt in all the way into your back heel. Breathe into your ribs. Inhale, lengthen your torso from your waist. Now exhale, twist your torso to your right. Now try, don't change anything of your legs, but twist your torso to your right. Inhale, back to center. Now exhale to your left. Inhale, back. Exhale, right. Inhale, back. Exhale, right. Inhale, back. Now hands down. On the blocks or on the floor. Now straighten your front leg. Uh, stretch your front leg straight. Now from here, lift your, your whole right foot off the ground. So it become like this. So only right heel dig into the mat. All right. Now sense your pelvis, square your pelvis. Now lift, uh, firm your both inner knees. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Navel in. So we have two clear directions. Dig your right heel into the ground and send your right sit bone into the sky. All right? And firm your inner knee. Firm your whole legs. Inhale, stretch your spine. Chest forward. Now exhale, fold from here. Stay here and maintain your breathing. Relax your shoulders, relax your mouth. Now inhale, head up, put your right foot on the ground and keep, um, keep your hands on the blocks. So if you didn't use the block, grab the blocks, grab the blocks in, all right? Now from here, find your shoulders over your wrist and press your arms into the, the blocks. Pull your navel in. Now I want you to protract your shoulder blades as much as you can, hollow your belly. Now with that, see if you can lift your right foot off the ground. Can you keep your right foot between the blocks? Press through your arms, pull your navel in. Good, now shoot your right leg back. Find your left foot between the blocks. Fingertips on the blocks. Now bend your front knee to 90 degrees. Back leg straight, navel in. Now inhale, stretch up. Start to hire your pelvis. Square your hips. Now sense your back and your thigh roll up towards the sky. From your right glute, firm your quads. Now when you're ready, inhale, lengthen through your right hip flexor. Pull your lower belly up. Go through your chest, go through your armpits, send it into your hands, and exhale, keep the chest, uh, keep the curve of your chest, bend your front knee. All right, now inhale again, lengthen through right hip flexor, chest up, arms straight, now exhale, stay here or bend deeper. Now, squeeze the right butt and kick all the way through the quads into your back heel. Firm your legs, hug your hips, inhale, stretch your torso up away from your pelvis, exhale, twist to the left, inhale back, exhale right, inhale back, exhale left, inhale back, exhale right, inhale back, now reach forward, hands on the blocks. Now straight your front leg and lift your foot off the ground. Only heel on the ground. 
square your hips. Now pause for a moment. Now firm inner knees. Firm both quads. With that, push your heel into the ground. Extend your left sit bone to the sky. So you have two opposite direction. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Navel in, exhale, fold from here. Maintain your breathing. Stay here. Now put your left foot on the ground. Find your shoulders over your wrist. Now from here, protract your shoulder blades. Start to press your arms into the block to activate your arms, firm your arms muscle. Now can you lift your left foot away from the floor? Can you keep your left foot between the blocks? Navel in. Now shoot your left leg back. Pull your navel in. Good. Now bring your legs together. Good. Now from here, remove the blocks. Find your regular plank. Descend your pelvis just a little and pull the front of your ribs in. Now bend your right knee. Don't touch. Straight. Left knee. Straight. Bend right. Straight. Bend left. Straight. Right. Straight. Left. Straight. One more. Right. Straight. Left. Straight. Now bend both knees. Hover. Press the floor away from you. Now you can either just put your knees on the ground or can keep your legs straight and bend your elbow. Lie on your belly. Oh. Lengthen the top of your thigh. Now you can either do cobra or upper facing dog. Now roll your shoulders back. Palm pressed. I'm gonna do upper facing dog. Pull your hands towards the back of your mat. Engage your thigh. Lift your knees away from the ground. Exhale, peel back, downward facing dog. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs. From ribs in. Firm your knees. Sit bones high. Now inhale on your toes, look forward, bend the knees, walk or hop. Feet apart, exhale, fold. Now inhale, stretch up. Exhale, release. Now from here, keep your feet apart, bend the knees, thigh bone back, navel in. Now stretch your arms over your head. Chair pose. Engage your thigh, foam from ribs in, weight on your heels. Now weight at the front of your toes. Bring your hips down, touch your heels, and arms between your legs. Now, if this is too challenging for you, bring one block, place behind your feet like this, all right? Now open your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Pull your torso up away from the pelvis. Exhale, fold forward. Relax your head. Open your inner thigh. Relax your head. Relax your chest. Now inhale, head up. Walk your hands back. Remove the block if you have it. Now sit on the floor. Navasana. Now on your toes, bring your legs together, squeeze your inner thigh, feet off the ground. Stretch your arms forward. Now inhale, pop up your, your heart. Now exhale, start to lower your legs. Straight your legs, hover your legs, and lift your shoulder blades off the ground like banana shape. All right? Now exhale, squeeze yourself back. 
Inhale, lower your legs, hover, arms straight. Exhale, squeeze your back. Uh, two more, inhale. Exhale, keep your legs together. All right, last round, inhale. Legs together, legs straight. Squeeze your knees, exhale. Now cross the legs, place your hands, downward facing. Inhale, look forward, belly in. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Turn your back foot down, come into a warrior one stand. So find each of your heels, align to each of your sit bones. Now from here, bend through your right knee, torso up. Now from here, stretch your arms over your head. Just normal warrior one. Vela Badrasana 1. Now square your hips. Square your chest. Now try to pull your right thigh bone, right femur, into your socket. Now roll your back in your thigh up towards the sky. And try to anchor the back of your outer heel. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Firm your whole arms. And can you lift the back of your rib cage? Lift the back of your rib cage up towards your hands. Lift your torso away from the pelvis. And breathe into your ribs. And bend your right knee deeper. Keep your right knee over your ankle. Square your hips. Stretch through the back of your rib cage all the way into your hands. Now reach your hands forward, hands on the floor. Now from here, press your arms into the floor. Now pull your right foot towards your belly. Good. Now, so this is just like what we did earlier, but without blocks. Now from here, can you descend your pelvis? So let your right shin touch the ground. And then ask your arms, push, press back. Pull your navel in. Okay, three more round of this. Now inhale, descend your pelvis. And then exhale, pull, lift up. Two more, inhale. Exhale, pull. Last one, inhale. Exhale, pull. Now stretch back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left foot between your hands. Turn your right foot on the ground. Warrior one. When you're ready, stand up. Now bend through your left knee, your left knee over your ankle. Now pelvis square, chest square. Reach your arms over your head. Keep your arms straight and firm. Now inhale. Pull your wrist away from the pelvis. And pull the back of your rib cage up away from your sacrum. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Look far, arms straight. Now bend deeper. Squeeze your right butt. Anchor the back of your right heel. And keep breathing. Now stretch your arms forward, place your hands. Now, shoulders over your wrist. Now come again, pull your left foot towards the front of your pelvis. Now inhale, descend your pelvis. Now exhale, hollow your belly. Inhale, descend your pelvis. Exhale, away from the floor. Three more, inhale. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale, arm pressed. Last one, inhale. Exhale, now step back, downward facing dog. Bring your legs together, inhale, come onto your toes. Exhale, rock to your high plank. Good, now chest forward, legs straight or bend the knees, bend your elbow, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upper facing dog or your cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Stretch through your arms. Open your armpits. From ribs in. Firm your inner knees. Sit bones high. Now inhale on your toes, look forward, bend the knees, exhale, walk or hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch up. And then exhale, release. Now second round, feet apart, bend the knees, thigh bone back, arms over your head. Now from here, weight at the front of your toes. Lift your heels off the ground, hips down. Arms down between your legs. Now open your inner thigh. If you need, grab the blocks, place it behind your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Navel in. Now exhale, walk your arms forward. Inhale, head up. Now walk your hands back. Remove the block. Now sit on the ground. The basana, set come round. Now bring your legs together. On your toes. Squeeze that paper between your inner thigh. Feet up. Now arms straight forward. All right. Now when you're ready, start to lower your pelvis. Lower your belly. Hover your legs. Squeeze your thigh, squeeze your inner knees. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower, hover. Now exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Now cross your legs. Place your hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Bring your right foot between your hands. Now turn your back foot down, warrior one. When you're ready, torso up. Now from here, bend through your right knee again. Now this time, make, uh, um, make a fist and place it behind your back like this. So I want your knuckles pressed against each other like this. Now between your shoulder blades. Okay. Now let's pause for a moment. Check your pelvis and your chest. Keep your pelvis and your chest turned to the center, the, to the front, and start to press your knuckles to each other. Now I want you to press your knuckles to each other very hard so you can feel your whole arms muscle, your tricep, your bicep, they're very activate, they're firing, okay? So if you feel your arm is shaking, that is totally normal and that is what I want. Now press your hands to each other. Now press your fist into the back of your heart. Inhale, lift the front of your chest. And then exhale, bend your front knee deeper. Roll your back inner thigh up. Firm your left glute. Now the front of a shoulder back, front of a shoulder back, chest up. Now push your hands into the back of your heart. Now from here, start to move your torso forward and come to the back of your back, uh, uh, come to the, the ball of your back foot. Now, you notice your torso now is aligned to your back leg. And then as you wait on your front heel, and stretch your right leg straight. Balance on your right. Come into your warrior three. Keep your hands where they are. Square your hips. Engage your inner thigh. 
Extend your left glute into your left foot. Lengthen your trunk away from your pelvis. Keep pushing your fists to each other. Good. Now release your hands on the ground. And lengthen your spine. Keep your upper leg straight and firm. Exhale, fall forward from here. If you can, grab your right heel with the right hand. Find your face close to your chin. Release your hands and now head up. And then place your palms on the ground. Good. And we're going to do descend the pelvis four times again. Now pull your right foot towards your belly. Protract your shoulder blades. Now inhale, descend your pelvis. Exhale, arm press. Higher your pelvis. Inhale, descend. Exhale, pelvis up. Now inhale, descend. Exhale, up. Now right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left foot between your hands. Turn your right foot on the ground. Now, chest up, pelvis, chest, forward. Now make fist behind your back, between your shoulder blades, and start to push your hands against each other. And find your arms very firm, maybe shaking, that is good. Now inhale, lengthen through your right hip flexor. Pull your whole trunk away from your pelvis, lift it up. Keep the curve of your chest, exhale, bend deeper. Now roll your back and your thigh up towards the sky and put in, put your left femur, left thigh bone, into your socket. Front of shoulder back, chest up, now torso forward, come to the ball of your right foot, back leg straight, now torso align to your right leg, good. Now as you start to balance on your left foot, now shift yourself forward and lift your right leg off the ground. Your torso, your pelvis parallel to the mat, Extend your right glute into your right foot. Keep pushing your fist. Keep opening your front chest. Keep moving the front of your shoulder back. Good. Now release your hands on the ground. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Right leg up and firm. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you can grab your left foot from behind. Lower your head. Turn your right thigh in. Make your right leg higher. Good. Now right leg down. Place your hands. Shoulders over your wrists. Good. Arms straight. When you're ready, pull your left foot towards your pelvis. Now descend your pelvis. Exhale, press. Inhale, descend. Exhale, press. Inhale, descend. One more. Press. Now that we're facing dog. Feet together. Inhale. On your toes. Exhale. High plank. Knees down or legs straight. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Upper facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, on your toes, look forward, exhale, walk or hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, release. All right, last round. Uh, based on 
build up our drills on the B, all right? Now feet apart, and let your block next to you, one block next to you. Bend your knees, pelvis back, inhale, arms up. Now exhale, four full from here. Inhale, halfway up. Now exhale, place your hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, on your toes, exhale, right leg forward. Warrior one again. Turn your back foot down, bend your front knee, and grab the block. Now from here, now hold the block from the side like this, okay? And spread your fingers wide. Try to firm your palms on the, on the side of the block like this, okay? Try to grip the rope block. Use your thumb, your, your palms push into the block, okay? Extend your fingers, All right? Now from here, bend through your front knee and inhale, stretch up. Now turn your pelvis, turn your chest forward. Now firm your arms, stretch your arms straight. Now press your palms towards the center to stabilize the block. Now inhale, lift the back of your rib cage all the way up to the block. Now pull your side waist up away from your pelvis. Bend your front knee deeper. Roll your back inner thigh up. Plug your right thigh bone into your pelvis. And breathe into your ribs. Now from here, hold the block with the right hand and then open your left leg coming to your warrior two. Bit of a dress on the two. Now bend through your right knee 90 degrees again. Find your front heel aligned to your back heel. Good. Now open your arm. Lift your back inner thigh up. Firm your knees and bend deeper. Square your front leg. And try to extend your front inner growing here all the way to your inner knee and pull your waist away from your inner growing. So you want to separate them, all right? Now inhale, lengthen your spine. Extend your spine. Spreading your wings into your hands. Now reach your arms forward and place a block next to your right foot. Good. Now reach your left arm over your ear. Now press your left buttock forward and firm your legs. Now from here, inhale, expand your ribs. And then exhale, start to turn your chest from right to left. Start to turn your chest from right to left. Again, turn your chest from right to left. Now, look down, left hand on your hips. Good. If you have more space in front of you, you don't need to move from here, but there is a wall in front of me, so I need to move my whole self backward. All right. Now, hands on your hips, look down, move the blocks forward. Now, as you start to balance on your right leg, back, back heel up and balance on your right leg. No, and lift your left leg off the ground. Good. Now, look down, check. Make sure your right knee and your right toes still point forward. Now, push your right arm straight. Right arm still active. Now, push your upper leg straight. Flex your foot. Now, can you pull your right waist away from the right in the groin more? Good. Now, roll your belly from right to your, to your left. Belly from right to your left more. Again, turn your chest, roll your belly, and then extend your arms. Now, option, keep yourself stay here. One level up, bend your right knee from here. Catch your back foot from here, from outside. Press your foot into your hand and then roll your chest towards the sky. Roll your chest towards the sky. Look down. Come back. Word two. And then downward facing dog. 
Whew. Okay. Now other side. Inhale, look forward. Left foot between your hands. Turn your back foot on the ground. Alright. I'm with you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Find the block. Press your hands at this side of the block. Spread your fingers wide and torso up. Turn your chest, turn your pelvis forward. Now firm your arms. Squeeze your arms towards the center. Good. Now inhale, lift the back of the rib cage all the way up into the block. Inhale, expand your ribs. Exhale, bend your front knee deeper. Turn your back inner thigh up. Put your left thigh bone into the socket. Arms straight, front chest lift, back rib cage lift, your torso lift away from your pelvis. And keep breathing. <laughs> Relax your mouth. I know it's hard. We're almost there. Now from here, grab the block with the left hand and turn your right thigh up, right foot out. Be able to draw some of the two. Now bend through your left knee. Find your front heel, align to your back heel. Front knee square. Open your arm. Push your right buttock forward, but firm your front leg, uh, firm your right leg, firm your inner knee. Now extend your left inner groin all the way to your left inner knee and lift your whole torso from your waist up away from your pelvis. Now torso forward, reach forward, block next to your left foot. Now reach your arms over your head. Top arm straight, keep your front knee square and push your front thigh into your left, left arm. Now from here, start to roll your belly from left to right. Roll your chest from left to right. Roll your collarbone from left to right and keep your top arm straight and firm. Squeeze your right inner knee. Now look down, right hand on your hips. If you need, like if you don't have space in front of you, move your whole body backward, all right? Now, when you're ready, come to the ball of your right foot. Move the block forward and start to balance on your left leg. Lift your right leg off the ground. Look down, check your knee and your toes still point forward and keep your upper leg straight. Flex your right foot. And from here, start to roll your belly from left to right. Roll your chest from left to right. Roll your collarbone from left to right. And then extend your right arm. Option, stay here or bend your right knee. Catch your foot from outside and press your foot into your hand. Now, can you roll your belly from left to right more? Press your foot into your hand. Extend your left leg straight. Release your hand. Bend through your left knee. Come back, warrior two. Whew. Now release. Back to your downward facing dog. Oh my God. Inhale on your toes. Exhale plank. From ribs in, descend your pelvis just a little. From your inner thigh, Exhale, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Bend through the knees. Exhale, walk or hop. Exhale, forward fold. Now inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. Oh. Okay. Now, tree pose. All right. Balance on your left. 
right leg up, place your right foot on your left inner thigh, hands in front of your heart, let your thumbs touch your sternum bone, chest up, extend your left leg straight, extend your right inner groin to your right inner knee, lengthen through the crown of your head. Now from here, start to bend your left knee and remove your right foot away from the left thigh. And slow motion, place your right leg back and hands on the ground. Right knee down. Move your left foot to the edge of your mat and turn your left thigh out. So find your left knee and your toes point out, okay? Now, Place your elbows either on the floor or on the blocks. We're going to open our hips. Now from here, descend your pelvis. Stretch your right hip flexor. You're descending your pelvis. You are not pressing your lower back. These two are different. So you need to observe which action you're doing now so your lower belly uh your lower back should uh should feel comfortable now as you inhale lengthen through your spine now exhale descend your pelvis Maintain your breathing. Relax your mouth. Now push yourself up. Remove the block. Move your left to your right. Pigeon. Now try to find your left shin bone parallel to the front of your mat and try to flex your left foot. Make your left knee wider than your hips. Keep turning your left thigh bone out. And then look back from your right. Make sure your back leg parallel to the mat and press the front of your right foot on the mat. Push your back leg straight, okay? Now from here, elbows on the floor. Now sense your pelvis in this pose. Don't let your pelvis tip into your left or right. Your pelvis is at the center, okay? Now if you can do more, you can think of we want to roll our back inner thigh, which is right inner thigh, the muscle, up towards the sky. And squeeze in towards the center. So it's kind of um, active stretching. It's not passive stretching. You're not just you know, relaxing on the floor. You're really aware where is your pelvis, how to active your right leg, and flex the left foot. Lengthen your spine. Now from here, lean your pelvis to your left and bend your right knee. Swing your right leg forward. Okay. Now. Pull your left heel towards your pelvis. Widen your sit, your seat. Leg straight. Good. Flex your foot. Now in here, reach your arms. Now exhale, twist your right. I'll find your right hand outside of your left thigh, your left hand behind your back, on your fingertips. Inhale, stretch through your spine. 
and then exhale, turn your belly from right to left. Keep pressing the thigh with the right hand. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, turn your belly from right to left. Now from here, inhale, reach your left arm over your head. Exhale, bring your torso to your right. So we have option, you can just bring your torso all the way to your right. Maybe you can catch your right foot with the left hand and you can bring your, the back of your right shoulder inside of your right leg. If this is just too much for you, bend your right elbow and push your elbows against your right inner thigh and stretch your arms over your head. This is also good. And no matter which version you're doing, turn your belly from right to left. So from floor to sky, from floor to sky, and open your right inner thigh, okay? If, you, if your neck feel tired, look down, look forward. I like this down. Now in, now come back. Next release. Now bend your right knee. Downward facing dog. And now look forward. Exhale, walk to the top. Fold. Stretch up. Extra release. Now the other side. Now tree pose. Left foot off the ground. Set it inside of the right thigh. Hands in front of your chest. Extend your left inner groin to your inner knee. Extend your right leg straight. Spine lengthen through the crown of your head, shoulder back and down. Bend your right knee. Remove your left foot away from your right thigh and reach your left leg back. Land your left leg, knee on the ground, right foot to the edge. Turn your right thigh out. Your right knee, your right toes point out. Elbows on the ground or on the blocks. Now inhale, lengthen through your spine. Chest forward. And then exhale, descend your pelvis. Exhale, descend your pelvis. So for your back foot, you can either do this like me, curve your toes under, or you can place the top of your left foot on the mat. And press your foot into the mat. Make it firm and heavy. Now push yourself up. Right foot to your left, pigeon. Now again, Find your right shin bone parallel to the front of your mat. Flex your right foot. And the most important is make your right knee wider than your right hip. And then look back on your left. Make your back leg parallel to the side of your mat. And pelvis square. Elbows on the floor or on the block. Sense your pelvis. Stay at the center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And maintain your breathing.
Now, leaning your pelvis to your right and bend your left knee and sit up. Pull your right heel towards your pelvis. Open your left leg to your left. Widen your sit bones. <laughs> All right. Now, and reach your left arm over your head. Twist to your right. Place your left hand outside of your right thigh. Right hand behind you. Now inhale, reach your torso up. Now exhale, turn your belly from left to right. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, turn your chest from left to right. Inhale, reach your arms over your right arm over your head. And exhale, bring your torso to your left. You can place your left shoulders inside your left inner thigh or your elbow. If you can catch your foot like me. Now when you're ready, inhale, expand your ribs. And then exhale, turn your belly from left to right. Turn your chest from left to right. Inhale, come back. Exhale, release. Good. Turn to the front of your mat. Downward facing dog. Stretch your arms. Stretch your back. Stretch your legs. Inhale, under toes. Plank. Exhale, bend your elbow. Line your belly. Come onto your elbow. Now turn your right elbow in like this. So find your right shoulder over your right elbow and bend your left knee. And catch your left foot from inside with the right hand, uh, with the left hand and your left thumb um, is inside of your foot. And turn your elbow towards the sky. Find your heel, want to touch your buttock and then press the floor with the right hand, right elbow, chest up. Relax your belly. Press the foot down with your hands. Elbows up towards the sky. So this pose, our goal is the inside of your left foot want to touch the outside of our left buttock. Release. Now switch. Left elbow in. Bend your right knee. Catch your foot from inside with the right hand. Now turn your thumb towards the floor and elbow up. Inhale. Exhale. Press your foot torso buttock. So we want to find inside of your, our right foot, touch the outside of our right buttock. Relax your belly. And keep pressing the floor with the left elbow. Release. Interlace your fingers. Curl your toes under, legs together, gaze between your arms, elbow press, belly up, pelvis up, knees up. Forearm plank. Now we're going to transition to dolphin pose. Relax your, relax your head and press your elbows, your forearms into the ground. Lift your tricep in towards your armpits. Relax your head. And start to walk your feet towards your face. Okay, so the more you walk your feet towards your face, the more you need to work on press your shoulders into the floor. Lift and pull your tricep towards your part, uh, 
core to our armpits. Relax your head from ribs in. Now walk back, knees down, child pose. Release your hands. Set your belly between your thigh. Bring yourself up. Now come onto your knees. Press the top of your feet on the ground. Roll your calf out, Varasana. Now sit your hips between your ankles. Find your legs together. If this is already a lot for you, keep yourself stay here. If you can, one level up, walk your arms back. And move your, your buttock, your, your buttock towards to the front of your mat. Now inhale, reach your arms over your head. Grab your thumbs. Lengthen through the side of your waist. And then on your exhalations, descend your chest towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen your chest, uh, lengthen your arms, extend your arms, exhale, descend your chest towards the ground. Now release your hands, hands on your feet, elbow press, bring yourself up. Downward facing dog, stretch your arms, stretch your legs. Navel in, from ribs in. So your shin bone parallel to the side of your mat. Make your shin bones and your feet heavy on the ground. Like you're putting the sandbag um, on your legs. Make it very, very heavy, heavy, all right? Now place your hands on your buttock and fingertips point downward and roll your shoulder back. Lift the front of your chest, elbows in, and have lift from your, your both hip flexor. And then exhale, push your pelvis forward and move your buttock down. Curl your chest up, inhale, lift your chest up, pelvis forward, legs heavy, and relax your head. Now feet press, come back. Sit on your heel. All right, second time. Come on your knees. If um, the top of your feet on the floor is too challenged for you, you can curl your toes under. Just make sure your toes press on the floor evenly and engage your inner thigh, engage your inner ankle towards the center, okay? So try to avoid this. Try don't let your heels come out like this. Engage your inner ankle like this. Tone your thigh, okay? Now from here, hands on robotic. Finger, uh, fingers point downward, elbows go in, roll your shoulder back, make your feet heavy, make your shin bones heavy on the ground, and help roll your chest up, and buttock goes down. Keep moving your shoulder back, keep pressing your pelvis forward, keep pressing your feet on the ground, 
See if you can catch your heels from here. Pelvis forward, shoulder back, and then curl your head. Breathe into the side of your chest. Lengthen through the side of your waist. Press your feet on the ground. And then come back. Sit on your heels. Hands on your thigh. You can close your eyes if you want. Okay, now, Varasana, roll your cap out, sit between your heels, keep your legs together, you can either stay here, or you can walk your elbows back. Move your, your butt flesh towards the front of the mat. Reach your arms over your head. Change, change your, your fingers. So hook your thumbs, but change your fingers. And have stretch up through your armpits. And exhale, descend your chest. Descend your chest. Now release your hands. Hands press your feet. Now come back. Place your hands, downward facing dog. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, sit bones high, sit bones away from your middle fingers, from ribs in. Inhale on your toes, plank, exhale, along your belly. All right, second time this. Turn your left elbow in, bend your right knee, catch your right foot from inside with the right hand. Now bring your right foot close to your buttock. Now bring your right foot to the outside of your, the, your right buttock. Relax your belly, right elbows go up, left elbows press into the mat. Now release, now switch. Right elbow turn in on the ground. Bend your left knee. Catch your foot from inside. Turn your thumbs down. Left elbows go up. Now bring your left foot to the outside of your left buttock. Relax your belly. Now release. Now lengthen the front of your thigh again. Ardabha Dhanurasana. Bend both the knees. Flex your foot. Mm -hmm. Now stands your pelvis, uh, stands your thigh. So try to keep your thigh parallel to each other. Don't let your thigh like wider than your hips, okay? Now make your thigh parallel to each other, okay? Now roll the front of your, of your shoulder back. Now start to press your shin into your hands. Now keep the front of your thigh firm on the ground. And now roll your chest up. And exhale, kick your legs into your hands. Flex your foot. Inhale. Exhale, kick your legs into your hand. Chest up. Kick your legs and your hand, chest up. Exhale. 
extra release. <sighs> now, second time, bend the knees. Let your thigh parallel to each other. Grab your ankle, flex a foot. Arms straight, from shoulder back. When you're ready, press your legs into your hands. Lift your chest up. Press your legs into your hand. Lift your chest up. Keep your thigh parallel to each other. Don't let your thigh wider than your hips. Breathe into your ribs. Chest up. Exhale, release. Okay. Our last page. <laughs> Bring yourself to what pose? Child pose. Knees wider than your belly. And roll yourself up. All right. So this pose is for um, another peak pose. But if you feel like um, you're exhausted, <laughs> you can skip this pose. So this pose we're going to do Pincha Mariasana. So we need strap and the block. If you want to skip it, skip it. And I don't know, um, take a break and then come back with um, our cool down pose later, okay? So make the loop. I guess we already have the loop earlier. Uh, from the beginning of the, the class. So this time I'm, I'm, I want you to uh, place the loop at the um, your upper arm. Here. I'll show you. Here. Okay. So as um, just a little above your um, your eye of your elbow here. Okay. All right. And make your strap tight. If you need a wall, find the wall. And remember how we um, place our hands on the block earlier? So it's the same. So place your palms on the side of the block like this. Try not to grip the block. Extend your palms, extend your fingers, and hug your palms towards the block. All right? Now, Press your elbows into the floor and keep your arms pressing the strap so you can feel your shoulder blades there wide and flat on your upper back. Now from here, relax your head. Try not to lift your head up. So I would recommend you just relax your head. So keep your gaze between your elbows. You know, keep the face, keep your uh, keep your gaze like backward. Good. Now from here, start to walk forward. So you might start to feel the more you walk forward, um, the more pressure you can feel on your upper arm. That is totally normal. So our goal is, as you start to walk your feet forward, you need to keep like keep shifting your pelvis weight towards the sky. Okay, so let's try it. Now, walk your feet forward, but keep sending your pelvis high. Lengthen the side of the waist. Lengthen your trunk away from your pelvis. Now from here, one leg up. Bend your down knee. Exhale, kick up. Exhale, kick up. 
Now keep pressing the strap with your whole arms. It's harder. All right. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Now keep pressing the strap. It's kind of hard. Now talking and doing it at the same time. So when you go up, <clears throat> keep the strap tight and keep pressing the the block with your hands. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try it one more time. Whew. Okay. When ready, knees up. Head This is my best. This is harder. <laughs> remove the strap, remove the block. Child pose. Knees wider than your belly. All right, roll up. Less cooling down. Bhadakonasana, be together. Widen your seat. Feet away from your pelvis. And now stretch your arms. Exhale, pull. Lengthen through the side of your waist and fold over. Relax your shoulders, relax your belly, relax your head. Close your legs, straight your right leg, pull your left foot in, join your sasasana. Why don't you sit again? Turn your chest forward and here reach your left arm over your head. Exhale, swing your left side of the body to your right. Catch your foot. Or you can use a strap if you need. And he'll pull your spine. Pull your trunk away from your pelvis. Lift the side of the waist up. Exhale, turn your belly from left to right. Turn your ribs from left to right. And fold over. And breathe in to your left mid back and lower back. And up. Now switch, bend your right knee, straight your left leg.
chest forward and have right arm up exhale swing your right side to the left catch your foot and help pull your spine up pull your spine up away from your pelvis and turn your belly from right to left turn your ribs from right to left and then exhale fall over Breathe into your right mid back and right lower back. Keep turning your belly from right to left. And come back. Extra release. Good. Now bring your right foot to the outside of your left hips and stack your left leg on top. Now grab your feet and now stretch your spine up. And exhale, fold over. Stretch your arms straight. And now head up, come back, undo your legs, now switch right leg on top, squeeze your legs, hips down. And now reach your arms over your head, lengthen through the side of your waist, exhale, fold over. And now come up. Exhale, release. Now undo your legs. Stretch your legs straight. Legs together. Flex your foot. Widen your seat. Hands next to your pelvis. Lift your spine. Shoulder back and down. Firm your inner knees. Now I'm gonna my 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 practice. I'm going to use two blocks. You can use either one block or two blocks or no blocks, or you can use the straps. All right, and now stretch your arms over your head. Exhale, full forward. If you're using the blocks, press your feet into the blocks and extend your chest forward. And sit bone back, but chest forward. And exhale forward.
Now inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, release. Good. Now we move the block on side. Bear through the knees. Lie on your back. And pull your knees towards your chest. Feet on the mat. Now find your feet on the edge of the mat and swing your legs to your right. Place your right foot on top of your left thigh. Put the weight on your left thigh. And on your exhalation, descend your ribs towards the ground. Relax your arms, palms face to the ceiling. Switch side, leg swing to your left. Now place the left foot on top of your right thigh. And on your exhalation, descend your right ribs towards the ground. Relax your belly. Relax your shoulders. Relax your mouth. Now release your foot, undo your legs. Find your lower back flat on the mat. And pause out here for a moment. Observe your sacrum is happy, wide, and flat on the mat. Lengthen the back of your neck. Roll your chest back, shoulders back. And as you breathe in, try to push the back of the rib cage into the mat. Feel your whole rib cage expands. As you exhale, relax your belly. When you're ready, Stretch your legs from here. Come into your full Shavasana. Now try to stay at Shavasana at least three minutes. Um, 10 minutes is the best, but at least three minutes. All right, so this is today's practice. Hope you like it. All right, see you next time. Bye.